Hello leaders, Navai Q again with another heads up video about the life of a principal. So in today's video, I'd like to discuss something that I've just come out of, which is meetings. Any aspiring head teacher, any principal will tell you that, or any leader in fact, will tell you that meetings are a key part of leadership. And you will find yourself as a principal in many different types. And it's important to know how to be and what to be in these particular types. So some of them you will be used to. For example, you'll be used to briefings, which are an important part of uh, bringing uh, your staff members together just in the morning. Maybe you'll do it weekly, maybe you do it monthly, uh, just to align everybody and uh, just standing around in a staff room and just go through very quickly what's happening for the day. Other meetings may be leadership meetings in school. Uh, again, middle leadership meetings, senior leadership meetings, your frequencies may change depending on your type of school, your the size of your school. Now, this is something I do try to do. Um, and now, it depends on the size of the school, perhaps, and principles, if you can go to all of them. But it's important just to be able to know and to be instructional, uh, just to sit in these meetings from time to time. But a fine balance, because if you're in all meetings, then are you a principal who's instructional, or are you trying to... Uh, not allow your leadership to move forward. So it's important, depends on your the culture within your schools. Then you have another type of meeting, which is what I've come from, which are board level meetings that you will have, again, maybe once a term, you may be a monthly C-level meeting. And these are the ones I want to spend a minute or so just explaining. It's important when you go into these meetings, and this is my advice to any aspiring head, is to know the intentions of why you're going into these meetings to understand the etiquettes of these meetings typically speaking when my previously i came from a banking background and private sector so we do have these type of meetings that i understood the the, the business development the business the financial aspects of so going into these meetings i understood uh, you know how to the rules of engagement if you will of these meetings other colleagues of mine who perhaps have come from a, a pure educational background, been in schools, going to private sector companies or private schools, let's just say, perhaps do not conduct themselves uh, or understand uh, the way, the means of, of what happens in these meetings. These meetings can be really long. I've been in meetings that have lasted for five hours. So you will have to build an endurance to these meetings. Um, and other times, you know, it's a lot less than that, perhaps a couple of hours. But the point whenever I go into these meetings is I know exactly what outcomes I want to come out from this meeting. So if the meeting might be five hours and I want three particular things locked down, I will ensure those three things are locked down. Everything else is wonderful, good information. But those three things for me are my key focus to drive my school improvement forward. This is important because you could go into the meeting quite quickly and easily and just get caught up and not have the endurance and walk out of there thinking, what did I achieve for my school? If it's a, it's a, if it's a corporate level and there's a group of schools, important to be focused, important to know, important to see who's in those meetings and important to conduct yourself appropriately for these meetings. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Again, remember, these are my opinions based on my experiences. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe. It's a new channel. Your support will be greatly, greatly appreciated and lots more videos to come.